Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to Algebra 1. Today's topic is algebraic inequalities. Working with algebraic inequalities is very similar to working with algebraic equations with one additional special rule which we'll see how to apply in one of our examples. So let's begin with our first example. 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to 2. We're going to expand brackets. There are none. Group like terms. There are none. Let's isolate. We have a negative 4 on the same side of the equation as the variable term. So let's add 4 to both sides. The 4's on the left cancel. We're left with 3x is less than or equal to 6. And the inverse of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. The 3's on the left cancel, and we're left with x is less than or equal to 2. Now we want to know how to show this solution on a number line. x is less than or equal to 2, so we're going to show 2. And from 2, going to the left, getting to smaller values, including 2, which we'll represent with a solid circle. Those are the values on the number line represented by x is less than or equal to 2. Now when we check an inequality, we have multiple values we can use for our check. So let's use an x value of 0, which is less than or equal to 2. If we put 0 in for x, 3 times 0 minus 4 is less than or equal to 2. 3 times 0 is 0. Minus 4 is less than or equal to 2. And yes, that is a true statement. So in our check, we used an x value of 0 and confirmed a true statement. Now, ideally, you would want to also check the extreme, the value of 2. If you input 2 into the inequality, the statement is true. And let's also consider a value outside of the inequality. x equals 3. When we use x equals 3, we have 3 times 3 minus 4 is less than or equal to 2 which simplifies to 5 is less than or equal to 2, which is not true. So that is evidence that we should not be including 3 in the solution, and we aren't. x is less than or equal to 2 excludes 3, as it should, because we've just seen that an input of 3 results in a false statement. Let's look at another example. 3 minus 2x is less than 7. No brackets to expand, no like terms to group. Let's begin isolation. We have a positive 3 on the same side of the equation as the variable term. We'll subtract 3 from both sides. The 3's on the left cancel. We're left with negative 2x is less than 4. Now, to continue with isolation, we're going to divide by negative 2. And now we see the special rule for inequalities come into play. In this example, we are dividing by a negative value. And we're dividing by negative 2 because the coefficient of x is negative 2, and we want to isolate the x. When we divide by a negative, then we switch the sign. Our sign was less than. Now our sign is greater than. So let's note the rule, and then we'll continue with our solution. The rule is, if we multiply or divide, by negative, then we reverse the sign. 
In this example, we're reversing from less than to greater than. If we were working with an example of, say, greater than or equal to, we would reverse to less than or equal to, etc. So let's continue with our example. The negative 2's offset, we're left with x greater than 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Now let's show this solution on a number line. And here we'll mark negative 2 on the number line. The solution is greater than, not greater than or equal to, but greater than. We'll represent that with an open circle. And now we have on the number line x is greater than negative 2. Everything larger than and excluding negative 2 is a solution to this inequality. So as a check, let's try again 0. So when we put x equals 0 into the original equation, 3 minus 2 times 0 is less than 7. 3 minus 2 times 0 is 0. 3 is less than 7. And yes, that is a true statement. You can put in a value, say, of negative 3, which is excluded from the inequality, and you will find that the statement will be false, as it should be, because negative 3 is outside of the solution. Now, to finish up, let's look at two additional representations of inequalities on a number line. Let's consider the inequality negative 2 is less than q is less than or equal to 6. Let's see how to represent this inequality on the number line. We're going to mark negative 2 and 6. We have a less than with the negative 2. We'll represent the less than with an open circle less than or equal to with the 6, which we'll represent with a closed circle, and everything in between we'll represent with the line. So this is the representation negative 2 is less than q is less than or equal to 6 on a number line. And let's consider another scenario. p is less than negative 1 or p is greater than 3. We'll mark negative 1 and 3 on the number line. And we'll represent p as less than negative 1 with an open circle, all values less than and excluding negative 1. And for p is greater than 3, open circle, all values excluding 3 and greater. So these are two additional representations of inequalities on the number line. So in conclusion, the key concept to keep in mind for inequalities is the reverse sign rule. Whenever you use multiplication or division in the isolation process and you're multiplying or dividing by a negative value, make sure to reverse the sign. This concludes algebraic inequalities. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.